I'm Jonathan Wyatt with In His Hands Contractors and I uh, just want to introduce to you today a couple things to be watching out for uh, when doing a full roof replacement. So there's a lot of different things to keep in mind um, when you're doing a full roof replacement. Obviously there's uh, a number of different things uh, such as drip edge, ice and water shield, um, and a, a lot of other different things, step flashing on your head walls and end walls. Uh, but the one that I want to hit on today is specifically is ventilation. A lot of people overlook ventilation. Um, a lot of people um, take ventilation uh, for granted. And so ventilation is a very big part of a full roof replacement. So ventilation is actually broke down in two different parts. Uh, you have your intake which is around your soffit areas, and you have your exhaust, which is around and should be around your ridge area, uh, which is gonna be at the peak of your roof. So I wanna take it one, uh, one section at a time, and I wanna hit on the exhaust, the, um, excuse me, I wanna hit on the uh, intake first. So your intake as displayed on this model would be underneath of your soffit, which would be the overhang on your home. Um, one thing that the contractor needs to look for uh, whenever doing a proposal on a roof installation is making sure that you have proper uh, ventilation for the intake. Uh, that is gonna be measured off of the cubic footage on the floor space in your attic. So if you do not have proper intake, it does not matter how much exhaust that you have, the proper airflow will not be going into your attic and then in turn will not be able to escape out of your attic. So the first, um, the first part of a ventilation system is the intake. You gotta get that right first and foremost. Make sure that the insulation is off of the um, soffit vents. Sometimes the insulation company will come in, blow insulation, and actually cover your soffit vents. You wanna make sure that you maybe take um, a tool and, and rake that away from the soffit area um, and things like that. But just looking at your soffit ventilation, that is the first and the foremost thing that you need to do. And most of the time is, is something that gets overlooked um, on a ventilation system. The second thing that um, is part of the ventilation system is the exhaust. You've heard me mention it, so I will explain it to you. The exhaust on this uh, model here, we do not have a ridge pole, but the ridge pole would be at the top. And so the exhaust is normally, and if it's done correctly, that's where the um, ventilation for the exhaust should be installed. And so what that does is whenever the air actually flows in, when you have the right cubic footage of, of airflow space, on your soffit area, it'll actually flow in your soffit area and then the exhaust will be up at the ridge. If you do a ridge vent, which is a, um, we use Lamanco is who we use. If you do the proper ridge vent system at the ridge, you will actually get the same amount of exhaust as you do on the intake, which, which creates a constant airflow through your attic, which keeps the ad attic cool, keeps the uh, shingles very cool, keeps the heat off of the shingles, which pro, which um, prolongs the life of your shingles, prolongs the life of your air units, drops your utility bill, and such as that. So that's just a couple things to be looking out for um, on your ventilation system, keeping in mind that at In His Hands Contractors, we do that on all of our uh, full roof installations. Again, this is Jonathan Wyatt with In His Hands Contractors, uh, just talking to you a little bit about the ventilation system on your home for a full roof replacement. Uh, stop by and, and check us out at our office uh, 383 Max Smith Road, uh, Rossville, Georgia, or you can check us out on uh, line at inhishandscontractors.com. Please stay tuned for more content.